there, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you another trick that I've learned using MDS2. Um, for more details and finish the product, feel free to check out my blog at stampwithheather.ca. In the meantime, I want to show you how you can use this text in with your shape. So right now you can see that I've just made a text box and you can see as I try and adjust my box, I can try and make the words fit in there and actually it doesn't look too bad right there. Um, but let's pretend that it's not so easy and what we're going to do is we're actually going to mold our words into the shape of the heart. So for example here you can see the word generous is overhanging the heart but I want all my words to sit inside this punch. So I've highlighted my text box, I'm holding down my command key and I'm going to select my punch. So you can see that both items are outlined if you're using a PC, you're going to use your right mouse um, button. If you're using a Mac, you're just going to put two fingers on your um, touchpad. And then you're going to get this menu that comes up. And what you want to do is you want to say attach to shape. And watch what happens when I click that. So when I attach to shape, it moves my text so that it fills in the heart. It doesn't go to your edges and it takes to the shape that it's being attached to. So you could do that with any punch um, and I'll show you how you can use this function using um, other options in the program in the future but just think of all the fun journaling boxes you can do or this is another example of some subway wall art I'm gonna do and the E there is for Emma in the background and these are some adjectives to describe her. So this will join the family um, pictures like the one I shared yesterday with the birth dates. So I hope you like it and again, use the double finger on the touchpad if you're on a Mac or a right mouse click if you're on a PC. And then you're going to go to the, it said attach from shape. Detach from shape just means that I'm going to undo what I just did. Give it a shout or give it a shot and uh, I can't wait to see what you do with it. Have a great day.